pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter said you played like a man possessed. Did you, did you feel that way in the fourth quarter? Yeah, so we just wanted to come out and show that we was an elite, te elite team in section one and prove everyone wrong. How 
ugly was that first half? What did Coach say at halftime? And how did you guys change everything in the second half? It just told us to keep playing hard. and just to, well, Don't worry about it. Everything's going to come on in the second half and just keep playing hard. How hard is it when you're, when you're, when you're not making shots as a team? You're, you're turning the ball over as a team. You're not defending as a team. How hard is it to kind of keep your head up in a game like this? It's hard, but our coaches told us just to stay in the game, and we just, we just stayed in the game. You're down 10 with, with a minute and 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Any part of you say, man, this is the end of the line? No, we believe we believe we can make it here, and that's why we're, we're here so far. We just wanted to keep our composure. And uh, you, you made some big plays defensively, and Joe, and just talk about the way Joe played in that fourth quarter. <laughs> he's amazing. He's a man child. We, he's our leader. We're glad we have him. You, you heard and you probably watched a lot of the football stuff he did late in games, but now you're experiencing the basketball. How, how great is it to be a teammate with a guy like that? It's a great, it's a great feeling. He's a true leader. Any, uh, any extra motivation with Ray Rice being here today and all the attention and everything? Yeah, he, he spoke to us at halftime, told us to keep playing, that everything's going forward, and it was, he was right. And uh, you guys now going on to the championship. You don't know who you're playing technically yet, but any party you want to see Mount Vernon? Uh, yeah, because they beat us twice in the season, but we'll see. How different of a team are you right now as a team in the playoffs than you were in the regular season? Uh, we're, we're a very distant team. As Coach, Ra as Coach Rasim said, we're locked in right now. So the legend grows, man. You did it in football, and now you're trying to do it here in basketball. Just talk about that fourth quarter and what came over you there. Uh, it, was just a, it, it was just all about defense. We played defense. Ray told us to play defense at halftime, and Coach Krabby told us to play defense. Their guards are shaky, so we just wanted to attack their guards, and that's what we did. I don't know if one shot can change a game, but that three-pointer at the buzzer, did you feel like something changed for you guys as a team? Uh, not really, but Coach Krabby told me not to shoot it, but I just wanted to come out and set up, set up, square up, and knock down the big shot. You hit that three and it goes to the fourth quarter and the momentum there. You guys as the team, you feel it going into the fourth quarter, the momentum? Yeah, everybody felt it. Everybody knew that. I knew the three was going in, but not everybody else did it. But I just wanted to knock down the big shot for my team. And then we came out in the fourth quarter, played great defense, and pulled out the W. I think team defense again, Derek Doran, what he did defensively, some big steals there at the end. How, how important was he? Uh, Derek's a great player. He just has to get in his rhythm a little bit more. But Derek, Derek can blossom at any moment, and that's what we want him to do, and um, especially crunch time in the playoffs. Well, I'll tell you this much. No matter who you play in the championship, you can't play like that in the first half. How do you leave here tonight about thinking about 16 points at halftime? Uh, we just got to come out and execute our plays even more like we did in Spring Valley and Clarkstown South. And we just have to treat every game like, like it's our last, which it is So for most of our seniors. So that's what we got to do, come out and try to get Ws even more. Going on to a championship game on Sunday, playing here at noon, is this something you even thought about midseason when you guys were struggling? I thought about this at the beginning of my season. This was my dream ever since sophomore year when I was on the team, and PJ and them had lost here. This is my goal to get back to the um, section championship, and now we're here. And uh, I, we don't know who you're playing yet, but any party you want to see Mount Vernon? I, I want to see any team, but... The, most, the team I want to see the most is Mount Vernon. I want to play them. It's, a, it's always a great game when New Rochelle and Mount Vernon play. And uh, with having Ray Rice here today, I mean, you've known Ray for a while. You knew him before he was Super Bowl champ. But just talk about having him here, what it meant for you guys? Uh, it, was just, it was just great. Everybody was cheering Ray on and interviewing him when he came in. But at halftime, we came out in the middle of the floor, and he spoke to us, and he told us that the guards couldn't dribble, and they were shaking and just get up in their face. And that's what we did.